At over 3 million square miles, the Amazon is an incredibly vast place. It is the most biodiverse place on this planet as it's home to 3 million animal species and over 3,000 plant species. For such a wild place, there's sure to be strange things and discoveries occurring there. Despite our technological advancements, there's only so much that we know about this mind-boggling forest. However, if you want to know more about what lies in the Amazon rainforest, then you've come to the right place. Let's look at scientists' terrifying new discovery hidden in the Amazon rainforest. 10. Shrunken heads. Taking heads and other physical antiques is the norm for many countries. However, the Shuar people of the Javaro tribe in the rainforest Amazon took it a little bit far by shrinking the trophy heads. The shrunken heads, also called Sansa, were more than a battle party pack for these tribes. It was a flagrant show of victory. Aside from that, there was a dash of superstition in the mix. Many thought that paralyzing the head of the enemy prevented it from taking revenge. Also, they believed that the strength of the valiant warrior would be passed to the person who killed him. Javaro warriors with many heads were to be feared. However, these warriors didn't hold on to them for so long. They used the heads in the ceremonies to celebrate the war victories and later threw them away. For those with a weak stomach, we will not go into the details of how the heads are shrunken. You can read up on it if you like, but make sure you are close to your toilet because the images you will see are sure to make you throw up. 9. The Holodera Like many other things in the rainforest, the Holodera is a terrifying and controversial creature. They are the largest of all river dolphins. The Holodera adults, mainly males, turn pink as they age. Scientists don't know why the color changes, but some think it's due to scar tissue rot while playing, swimming, or even fighting with other predators. I don't think you know how hard it is to swim alongside natural predators like snakes and eels. This animal goes by several names. The Holodera, the Razorback Dolphin, and even the Sawtooth Dolphin. While we are unsure how it got its first two names, we'll get to the last name in a minute. It is a massive freshwater dolphin that looks like a normal dolphin, except that its dorsal fins are covered in notches similar to that of a saw. Another thing that makes them more fascinating by the minute is that they have a melon. Every Amazon dolphin comes with a melon in a tissue glob found on the top of its head. This melon is an organ dolphins use as a biosonar instrument. Scientists are not sure how it works, but they believe it helps the dolphins utilize echolocation by focusing sound. By doing so, they can communicate with each other and learn about their location. The Holodera was first spotted by renowned biologist Jeremy Wade in 1993 when trying to snap a picture of another creature. This took a lot of attempts, but at the end of the day, he could take not one but two shots of this animal. Note that this creature is elusive and can be difficult to stumble on if you ever traveled through the jungle of the Amazon. 8. Boiling River it is common knowledge that the Amazon is home to the longest river in the world. However, there is another river that is equally wonderful, but for a different reason, the Boiling River. As its name implies, the Boiling River is a river that is always near boiling point. Most times it toggles between 93 degrees Celsius and 97 degrees Celsius, which is only a few degrees shy of the boiling point of water. You could boil an egg with this water, but this water is not recommended for human consumption. Its emission of hot steam is an obvious warning to all live creatures. The heat source in the boiling river still generates heated debates, but many people think it is of geothermal and natural causes. However, this might be ruled out soon because the river isn't close to volcanoes, geysers, steam vents, or other geothermal activities. Some superstitions hold that the river is enshrined in some power and as such produces its heat source all by itself. Whatever its source, just don't swim in this water, and everything will be fine. 7. Brazilian Wandering Spider This spider is a crawling nightmare. Do you think tarantulas are bad? Wait until you hear about the Brazilian Wandering Spider. This spider is the deadliest in the world. They don't build webs anymore, as they have evolved past that. Instead, they wander around the Amazon jungle, eating whatever they want to and looking for who to devour. These spiders are nocturnal meaning they do most of their activities at night. They can be found resting under rocks or fallen logs in the daytime. 
If you accidentally disturb their siesta, they'll immediately go into beast mode and attack aggressively. They will rear up their legs and attack you like their life depends on it. This might not be so bad, except their venom would make you answer an untimely death call. It contains horrifying neurotoxins, which cause tremendous pain, instant respiration issues, and blurred vision, and in men, an erection that gets stronger and more painful. And if you do not get urgent medical attention, you will almost certainly die. There's a glimmer of hope, and anti-venom is available. However, what are the chances of picking that up while you writhe and struggle in the middle of a jungle? Absolutely none. 6. Leaf Mimic Katie Did This insect can teach our soldiers a thing or two about camouflage. They are related to grasshoppers, but unlike their savanna relatives, they can blend with their environment. Their clever camouflage makes it almost impossible for the untrained eye to distinguish between them and leaves. They even have leaf-like veins. Weird, right? Katydids are usually gentle animals, and many people keep them as pets. They can bite when they feel threatened, but their bite is not any more painful than a pinch. People call them Katydid because that's what they sound when rubbing their legs together. You can even hear the Katydid sound when you're close to them. One Katie did, two Katie did. Okay, okay, I kid. This is where they get super cool. The frequency of their sound can help measure the temperature where you are. You can count the number of Katie dids they make to measure the temperature of the Fahrenheit scale. Think of them as living thermometers, but do not stick them into your hot roasted sizzling beef grill. Five, Paku fish. This is one fish that loves to target men's sexual organs. Paku fish share similarities with piranhas, but are larger than them and have teeth that look shockingly human. With two sets of molars used to grind nuts and eat plants, the paku fish might frighten you from baring its teeth rather than from a potential attack. They also have large front teeth that can crush through the shells of crustaceans. The fish feed on nuts, insects, and other fish. While their teeth are scary enough, that's not all there is to them. They are also very aggressive. They even have an eerie nickname, the testicle-eating fish due to their penchant for attacking men's reproductive organs. Scientists have discovered that the fish go after the sexual organs because they hunt mostly by smell and are a fan of rotten meat. Sadly, the male testicle has a similar smell. As a result, the paku fish will attack the testicles first and go after other parts later. This is definitely a nightmare for men because no man will want fish to bite their testicles. So whenever you journey into the wild, it'd be good to leave this scary creature alone. 4. Giant Otter When you see a group of otters playing in the ocean, one thing comes to mind, how adorable they are. This is because most otters, except those in the Amazon jungle, are very small. The Amazon rainforest houses the largest species of these marine creatures. Aptly named the giant otter, they grow to an unimaginable length of six feet and can eat up to nine pounds of food daily. This might still seem adorable to you, but what makes them extremely dangerous is that they live in massive family packs. Otters are usually found in groups of over 20 individuals. Still think it is no big deal? Try fighting off 20 otters at the same time. They have reportedly attacked five-foot-long caimans and have had some crocodiles lose a tail or miss an arm. Smaller crocodiles, who aren't swift enough to scamper for safety, do not stand a chance of survival. Sadly, these otters have been listed as endangered as human intervention threatens their survival. Despite the risk of going into extinction, these otters will still be known to all as the kings of the jungle. 3. Green Anaconda when it comes to animals living in the Amazon rainforest, the giant green anaconda remains the deadliest and scariest. Let me give you a few reasons why. First, the anaconda is the heaviest snake, weighing over 200 pounds. In length, it competes only with the reticulated python, growing to be about 25 feet long. Even its diameter is jaw-dropping. For around 12 inches, we mostly think that this snake gets by devouring visitors. But let me shock you a little bit. While the anaconda can devour humans if it wants to, in its benevolent nature it chooses to prey on birds, turtles, capybaras, and even dead pigs. Anacondas are usually not venomous, so they kill their prey by coiling their body around it, leading to suffocation and asphyxiation. They will then swallow it whole. This takes a lot of time to digest, ranging from weeks to months. During this period, the creatures hibernate and come out only after digesting. 
Despite their aversion to human blood, staying away from these vicious animals is a great idea to avoid being a cautionary tale. 2. Electric Eel Water and electricity don't mix, so the idea of an electric eel is frightening. Thankfully, there is only one species of electric eel, and it can be mostly found in the Amazonian jungle. Its body is finely tuned and designed for maximum shock dispense, with 20% of its body containing its vital organs and the remaining 80% consisting of over 6,000 cells, all brimming with electrical energy. So yes, it is as dangerous as you would expect it to be. Generally speaking, eels do not attack humans, but it is not unheard of. There have been reports of attacks that have unfortunately ended some people's lives. 1. Amazonian Giant Centipede The last one on our list is the Amazonian Giant Centipede. They are the biggest centipede in the world, with an uncanny ability to grow over a foot in length. These huge, creepy crawlies will prey on anything they can lay their hands on, including large insects, millipedes, scorpions, and even tarantulas. They are also venomous. And while it has not been a frequent occurrence, they attack humans, too. In fact, a person was said to have passed away in 2014 after being bitten by one of these centipedes. The Amazon rainforest is so big, and the mysteries that lie in it are sure to be bigger. However, scientists haven't figured it all out. With more and more exploration, we can only expect more shocking discoveries to emerge. Thanks for watching this video to the end. While you are still here, click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about the Amazon rainforest. I'll see you there.